If you've ever heard the songs Fever or Please Come Home for Christmas, then well, you've listened to the work here of this legendary drummer, Philip Paul. He passed away this past weekend, but as Whitney Miller explains, his legacy will certainly live on for centuries to come. If you know anything about jazz and its legacy here in Cincinnati, then you've heard of Philip Paul. He, of course, is, is known for his years with King Records, where he created the the beat for the twist and recorded on Fever, the, the first recordings of Fever. His longtime bandmate Tim Schneider says jazz was Paul's first love. Well into his 90s, the pair would play at the Symphony Hotel regularly. He was the best drummer I ever played with. Walter Cash met Philip Paul when he was just 13 years old and later in life played bass with him on several occasions. We would step on each other's toes. Like we see some of these young bass players and young drummers they have no cohesion between each other. No, with Philip Paul, we respected everybody's space. But beyond his skill and talent, Paul was known to inspire and teach young artists about musicianship. For him to actually, you know, keep elaborating on it kind of made me feel like, you know, I was doing him, uh, pretty much doing him proud. He mentored a lot of younger musicians. I know he mentored a lot of young drummers. Ben Levin leads a blues band and studies history at UC. He worked closely with Philip Paul. He would tell me stories from the old days, being on the road in the 50s and in the 60s. Um, and I've always cherished that time. I'll miss him. A gentleman whose legacy will live forever. Philip was just a beautiful soul, a beautiful person. Uh, very, very loving, a gentleman. Whitney Miller, WCPO 9 News.